Um, something's been on my mind, bro. And I, and I think we kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, the Kobe disrespect mm -hmm. is off the chain. I, and it's been this way. I think NBA, the NBA put out their top 10 list or just their top, I think, 75 guys out of that 75 uh, uh, thing that they did for All-Star Weekend. And they put together, obviously, their top 10. And once again, I feel like it's a recurring theme of Kobe being in that lower top 10. And then I, I, but I remember thinking a couple years ago, I remember thinking it was crazy to consider, consider Kobe anything less than top five, because if you ask anybody in my generation and our generation, right, Kobe is always top five. I, you, yeah. you go to anybody 21 years, may, maybe 25 years or younger, yeah. Kobe is always top five. Am I right? You think I'm right about that? I think he, he always top three in a lot of people. Yeah. If for real, it's either it's LeBron, MJ, Kobe, or MJ, LeBron, Kobe, or Kobe, yeah. MJ, LeBron. It's yeah. one of those orders. I probably missed another order. I probably. Yeah. Let me see. Kobe. Hold on. Kobe, MJ, yeah. LeBron. Some of yeah. you know what I'm saying, though. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. probably, yeah, all those orders like that, though, in top three. That's that. That's how it is. And I, I guess it, it brings up a, kind of a um, an argument about perspective, right? Our perspective is, I mean, I didn't really get to see Kobe in his absolute prime. I think I caught Kobe in his last really good year, like yeah. in 2012, 2013, because I just started watching basketball till yeah. 2012. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I knew, obviously, I knew about basketball around yeah. 2008 and nine, but yeah. I wasn't watching that shit. I was watching yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. no basketball. You and Blake yeah, was I, watching WWE. Oh, yeah, now, yeah, WWE, Power Rangers, yeah, you know, uh, what else? Uh, shit, that's probably about it, but yeah, WWE, yeah. 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 It. I'm telling you, you missed it, you missed out. Now. Yeah, I'd be yeah. seeing the stuff now, I'd be like, damn, they was wild as hell in WWE. But no, like, even me, you know, didn't grow up, I, I didn't, I'm not, I've been a basketball fan, as I mentioned, since 2012, I didn't grow up, like, from, from the womb, like, in basketball, like some of these yeah. dudes did. But you hear his name all the time. Everybody knew who Kobe Bryant was. Everybody knew who he was. Everybody knew he was great. Everybody knew from maybe... For, for a long period of time, he was the best player in the NBA. So it's all perspective-based because we grew up in the Kobe Bryant era because there was a Kobe Bryant era in this 21st century. And then after that came the LeBron James era where he ruled the league and all of that. We grew up in that era. We're going to we're automatically going to consider him within that top three, within that top five. We can't imagine a world where he's not in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus an older guy who grew up in the 80s. And I'm a Magic fan. Magic's probably my favorite player ever. But – He's going to he's going to hold Magic's greatness, you know, probably to a higher standard relative to a Kobe, because an older guy grew up seeing Magic and his impact, yeah. not only on the Lakers, but on the league and as a whole, you know? Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I don't I just don't know how you look at Magic and then look at Kobe and just say Kobe isn't better than him. That's a good question, it's, though. It's that, Yeah, go ahead. That, that's a good question. I was going to ask you. I think and this I think because you can kind of you can kind of go down the list and straight up compare guys. I remember just thinking about this today. I was like. Did Kobe have a better Lakers? Was Kobe Bryant a greater Laker than Magic Johnson? I think he, I think people, what's the word? I think, how can I word this? I think uh, Magic was necessarily, he might've been loved more mm -hmm. like throughout, throughout his whole career. Cause you know, yeah. Magic was probably loved throughout 15, how many, many years he played with the Lakers. But then Kobe, he had them dry spurs where people were like True. really criticizing him. Yeah. Where they loved him, but they hated him too. Yeah. So I would say probably Magic overall is loved more, but I think the better player in people eyes, in a lot of people's eyes is Kobe. It's a good point. I, that there weren't a lot of rough Magic Johnson patches, you know what I mean, during the 80s. Like in the even yeah. with um the Lakers at a point in time, you know, with Kobe kind of being in his prime or whatever, there were the trade rumors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there, there were there were a lot of different things. There, there were a lot of controversies. And you also yeah. talk about the Shaq and Kobe, the kind of that beef. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not what Lakers fans yeah. want to see, you know. Yeah, you saw, but after he retired, you saw they like like they loved him even more, though. Yeah. So I don't know who who was who's more loved by the fans. I'm be honest. It's tough because you also have to consider Magic's impact on the league. You know what I mean? Like oh, Magic yeah. and Larry yeah. saved the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they they brought uh Converse to basketball. Yeah, I remember they, did. they had them Converse and they had the commercial. Well, I don't remember it obviously. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't <laughs> but right. yeah, yeah, it was crazy though. Yeah, so there there are some guys you can argue, like you can also argue the Kareem thing. I personally think Kobe is a better this isn't just about being a better Laker, but um you can argue Kareem over Kobe. I feel like mm -hmm. I, I mean I, I'm not even mad at arguing that Kareem's the best player of all time. I've heard arguments for it. Oh yeah, you can yeah. you can name on one because you can go down the line. He won. He was undefeated in high school. He was undefeated in college. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't undefeated in the NBA, but he won yeah. five championships. So it's yeah. just like, and 
it's, he, he has the criteria to be number one. Yeah. Being honest. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you can definitely go with LeBron over Kobe. You can definitely go with MJ over Kobe. Anybody below that top five, though, MJ, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, that's four guys. Wilt, Wilt was at five. MJ, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, Wilt. Wilt's at five. I don't know how I felt about that one. Because yeah. I, I, I would probably guarantee you nobody who organized the NBA 75, and I could be wrong, got to see Wilt play. And I really feel like that should factor in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because there's no yeah. way you can appreciate the moment. There's no way you can look at the moments Kobe created and then take what Wilt did. I'm not taking away what Wilt did, but take what he did over the course of his career and put that over the moments that we literally saw Kobe create. You didn't always mm-hmm. see what impact Wilt had as a fan. You didn't see that happen. I doubt anybody in the NBA 85 thing got to see it. In, in the 60s. Right, 60s, man. The early 70s. I think yeah. he was playing in the early 70s or something. That's but what he, I'm saying. Yeah, he. I think he started late 50s into like early 70s. That was his yeah. 20 year career. Yeah, I think probably if I had to guess out of the people that voted, I'd probably guess probably one or two people. Yeah, like saw him. Like, yeah. it's it's because it's, it's hard to like imagine that a lot of people saw him and it's yeah. like 60 years ago. Yeah. Almost. So, like, how, like I said, how can we, how can we put the moments that we didn't see over the moments that we did see? You know what I'm saying? How can we, how can we take Kobe, the, the greatness and the legacy that he put out there on national TV in front of everybody yeah. on ABC or CBS or whatever they stream the yeah. games on? How can we take that, but then go to Wilt and say, no, his moments were greater yeah. because. Yeah. You know why they look at them numbers, them numbers crazy. That's, yeah. The I numbers never, were crazy. Dude, true. Average, what, did he average 51 season? He averaged 50. Yeah. I think I'm pretty like, what? That's not real. That's fake. But even so, it, even so with that, you know what I'm going to say with that. No, I know. I know. Yeah. People we were playing against, they were like electricians. They, yeah. They, they were, uh, what do you call them? Plunge, not plungers, uh, yeah. janitors. Yeah. Like, yeah. So they wasn't their primary job, people back then. So. And I will say, I think Wilt would be effective in any era. You know what I mean? I think now he'd be used a little differently to what he was used back then, but he can, he'd be playing any era. There are guys, there are guys all over the place in yeah. the older days that would that couldn't play right now. He's not one of them, you know? Yeah, he could, because if you look up his highlights, I didn't know he was shooting fadeaways. Yeah, I didn't know fadeaway. Athletic. He, he, yeah, he could shoot like shots, regular shots, but he couldn't shoot free throws. I didn't yeah. understand it. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. He definitely can like yeah transition into now. Cause yeah, shoot, big man shooting threes, and he was shooting fadeaways before fadeaways probably even a thing. Yeah, yeah. So Will was the one in the top five that I just didn't get. I I appreciate his greatness, and I appreciate the one hundred. But I think even Kobe's eighty one was better than his one hundred because Kobe's eighty one was on a bunch of contested jump shots. A contested mid range jump shot is a very tough look relative to a bunch of however however Wilt did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking anything yeah. away from Wilt. Yeah, no, but, I think I'm, I think he actually did. It was like a lot of layups. It wasn't yeah. obviously it wasn't true. Because you got to keep in mind, he was like seven foot three. Nobody back then was above six five. I think. Yeah. Like it really wasn't a lot of like seven foot players back then. Yeah. That was real. Yeah. Then we go Bill Russell over Kobe. Um, I get the 11 rings, but the league was just so different. And you have to factor in the point that there weren't as many teams as there were when Kobe was winning as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. When, when people say 11 rings, I say, I get that, but it was like half the teams. And yeah. You win one and you win one playoff series, you win the finals. Yeah. <laughs> and the competition definitely wasn't as great as it is now it was as when Kobe was playing. So, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, those eleven rings. It's 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 a great accomplishment. Don't get me wrong, because people barely win one. Right. Uh, I just just looking at the competition and look like who we played against. I can't put them above. Uh, I can't put Bill Russell above Kobe. Yeah. Brian, MJ. What's the mother? Uh, not even Kareem. Mm-hmm. That's probably it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how effective Bill Russell would be. I mean, I like I don't know how effective he'd be if you translate him. Yeah. Like he'll be. I think he'd be effective up to about early 2000s as a defensive specialist you know I, yeah, I think he would be a, a dude that can really rebound and uh defend yeah yeah i don't i don't look at look at him as a threat really on the offensive end like yeah. other players in the top five and I'm, I'm not sure if he can go out and switch on guards too i i, I feel like he'd be getting hunted on pick and rolls the time. Nah, his, he, his legs a little too long or something he, he can't yeah. move feet, feet too big can't move him fast enough yeah uh larry bird uh this was tough larry led a dynasty but this one, this one's tough. Uh, I, I, this is one where I guess I could see it, but then again, for me, it kind of came back down to the moments that I saw Kobe create versus the moments I saw Larry create, which I didn't get to see him create because I wasn't even alive yet. Um, he got some moments though. You can look him up on YouTube. This, he and does. People, and people, everybody that talk about Larry Bird, all Larry Bird, all the old heads, they they tell you he was a killer. That's what yeah. they say. So. I was. 
last night I was I was literally just watching because I, I had nothing else to do. When I have nothing else to do, um, I'm just watching. I like I like going to YouTube and watching. Like, um, shout out to Maximilian seven one one. He got. The, I'm just giving yeah. a shout out. He got the best throwback NBA highlight page on YouTube. Yeah, no, nah, I watch. Uh, what was I do, bro? What was his name? Oh, uh, you know highlights too. or Dawkins? Dawkins, Dawkins, yeah, Dawkins, Dawkins had that they shit, be, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 they be. He be coming back for like he he be gone for like a couple months. I he, swear to I, oh god, oh my god, that's hella true. Um, yeah. but I was watching Larry stuff and I'm like, okay, Larry, just talking about him. I mean, Larry Larry could definitely dominate today. If still, you know, six foot nine can pass, can shoot. Uh, was sneaky, athletic. You know, I, I Larry Larry was tough. Larry was a little bit tough. I can, I can see as far as guys outside of that top five who they put over Kobe, I could see a Larry Bird argument. Tim Duncan, I don't see no, a Tim Duncan no. argument. No, yeah, no. He averaged, he literally averaged 20 points and Kobe averaged like six more points than him all yep. so, And if you just look at this just ability, yep. he just like don't get me wrong, Tim Duncan, he obviously he was one of the most talented power forwards, and people think he's the best power forward of all time, mm. but he's just not Kobe Bryant. Yeah. To me, it's to me, it's no explanation for some of these dudes you name it over him. Yeah. He never had been, yeah. he never had the flair that Kobe did. You know what I'm saying? You have to yeah. you have to you have to consider commercial appeal too. Like Tim yeah. Duncan didn't have no. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why when people were brought like saying like, kept I don't know if you agree. I wouldn't say. Uh, do you think it's debatable that Kevin Garnett's better than Tim Duncan? Yeah, with, with, without it, without a doubt. That's that's what I'm saying. Why you think that is? Because he because Kevin Garnett had flair. Yeah, and he just had raw athleticism. And he yeah. had a couple of things. Well, Tim Duncan like just the talentism, but it's just just watching wise. Yeah. It was it was probably better to watch Kevin Garnett sometimes because he just yeah. it was yeah it was just the flair. Okay. There needs to be, I think, when it comes to us ranking these guys, there, the, and, and whenever it comes to Bleach Report or NBA or ESPN or whoever's ranking these guys, we need to consider legacy versus skill. We need yeah. to. We need to we, I always talk to y'all about that legacy versus skill, and even hey. legacy they screw up a lot because, like I said, they're just guys yeah. in this list whose legacy was not greater than Kobe. They you know did. what I mean? But they, they read too much into like brain sometimes. Yeah. Like, I get they mean something, but like literally, I don't know. It's just. Cause he still Kobe still had five rings and only two losses. And I'm pretty sure Tim Duncan had five and lost one. So it's just like yeah, because people, he, lost, he lost the one against Miami. That was that one year we we beat him. People uh have a strange ignorance when it comes to Kobe's five. You know the f- number one thing I hear whenever I bring up Kobe's five is well he had Shaq. I, I, as I always say, you're not winning without another great player. Jordan has Scottie Pippen. I understand yeah. Scottie Pippen isn't what P- isn't Shaq. You know Scottie Pippen was never like it. It was never yeah. Yeah, they disrespect Scotty like yeah, they do. Um, yeah, like literally, like he literally averaged twenty. He almost he was like the uh, I think he was the in the MVP. He was in the MVP conversation yeah. those couple years that Le- I mean not LeBron, uh, <laughs> couple years that my <laughs> LeBron played back then. LeBron was like fifteen back then, yeah, uh, right? But, no. but yeah, he was in the MVP. The Scotty was in the MVP discussion when Michael Jordan was wasn't there those yeah. couple years. A few years I remember years he missed was wasn't in the league so. Yeah, people disrespect Scotty like he was a bum. Yeah, you're not winning without another great player, bro. You know, so I don't. I'm not going to disregard his first three, and I'm also not going to act like he wasn't a main contributor on those first three. Yeah, he had Shaq, yeah. but it was Shaq and Kobe. It was never just Shaq. No one yeah. ever thought that Kobe was an All Star since '98, bro, and won his first ring yeah, in 2000. Yeah. It, so if you look at the numbers, a lot of those playoff series, they literally average the same amount of uh, like same amount of points, like yeah. 28. I'm I'm dead ass serious. Yeah. Like I think one series it was against. Uh, I think when they killed uh, Indiana in the finals, they yeah. murdered them. Yeah, they both averaged like near thirty points. And if Phil Jackson wanted to, and if he did it, he just wasn't going to do it when Shaq was healthy. But we all understand, we all know about when Shaq was out for that period of time, the run that Kobe went on, and then people started realizing, oh my God, this guy's actually first option material. You know, he uh, two thousand two, two thousand three, which I think was his best. Well, I'm not gonna say his best season, but I'm gonna say like was when he put his full skill set on uh, on display you know and then if 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 he if Phil Jackson would have catered the system more to him you know in those early years Kobe could have been the best player in all of that and I don't know that's tough that's kind of blasphemous to say but as I said go back and look at the highlights and see what he was doing maybe not 2000 or 2001 but around those later you know Shaq and Kobe years that you know that can hold true you know, it's not that crazy to me because if you look at him from his rookie year I don't know if I ever seen as far as stat wise a rookie improve that fast yeah like he had a bad rookie year, and then before you know it, dude was already at twenty seven points. Then an like all star year too. Yep. Yeah. So I yeah, because I think his first first year he didn't have. I think he averaged right at ten. I could be maybe, wrong. I think maybe a little lower. Something like that. Because, yeah, because he had like people on the team like Eddie Jones. He had all those other guards on the team, so he really was hard to for him find his way on the team. Yeah. Am I right though? Was it like ten? Year one, 
uh, Kobe Bryant averaged eight points year two. He jumps to so year two, he's not an all star. Right? Well, this is going by um, I hate when I just look it up on Google. Year yeah. one, uh, Kobe goes eight points. Year two, he he's an all star. He goes 15, uh, 98, 99. He goes to 20 a game. And so it's, it's I don't know if he's an all star in the year two because I'm not sure the NBA had the all star game in. I don't, I don't remember what month they had the all-star game back in the, at that time, yeah. but yeah, no, to your point, there was this amazing progression over time, you know, and by year, really by 2001, which I think is one, two, three, four, five, six, year three, year six, he's already established himself as one of the elite scorers in the yeah. NBA, you know? Yeah. 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 Cause to me, just, this the, this the excitement he brought to the game, like no other player in that top 10 besides, I think, let me, I might get this wrong, besides LeBron and MJ, just bring that excitement as far magic. as just like raw athletic, yeah, magic. Just like mm. except like for like raw athleticism. And yeah. Just like you know when you get to steal and you do a tomahawk dunk. Yeah. I don't think nobody else besides them three or even two can do that. Yeah. yeah. So that's a big deal to me too. Yeah, it, that has to play a factor. Your 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 you, your watchability has got to play a factor in that. I, I just, I'm not saying that's the number one thing, and and watchability may not always be effective. You know what I'm saying? So, but. That has to play a factor in that. The last guy in front of him was Big O. I appreciate Big O, but mm-hmm. he's not, I'm never putting him over Kobe. I mean, I'm not putting Big O. I, no. I, I like Big O's game, but no, I'm not putting him over Kobe. Because it's just like I'm saying, like it's the three dudes to me, MJ, LeBron, and Kobe. Those are three dudes that I know can dunk on you anytime they want to and average 30 a season if they really want to. Yeah, that's how, I, I, I know it's kind of simple how I'm putting it down, like breaking it down, but this is how I think. Okay. It's how it is. And they're just, just iconic guys. And I just think also, too, like I, I, I even think the defensive thing is something people never talk about with Kobe. He can be, he can definitely, you can argue the best defender to ever to me. You can at argue, least top, Col- at least top five. You can I mean. argue Kobe Bryant is a top five. So Kobe Bryant, in my opinion, is the is the most is the most skilled offensive player to ever play this game, in my opinion. Yep. Um, to go along with that, I think he's a top five perimeter defender ever. Twelve time All Defense, nine time All Defense First Team, and he Damn. did it in an era that's insane, right? Nine time First 12? Team, twelve All Defense, yeah, nine. Damn, yeah, that's ooh, yep. good lord. Yeah, and that's- then. Would and, and look at the era he I was talking. Remember, we talked to Blake, or I was talking to y'all over the phone. Remember the era he played in. I love Jordan, but their guard, guard, it wasn't as guard heavy. You're talking about Jordan or Kobe had to match up against Iris in his prime, T Mac in his prime, caught Kevin Durant early, caught yeah. Russell Westbrook early, caught yeah. Kyrie early. We'll go check him, D Wade, Brian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you definitely right. When you brought that to my attention, when I was debating you, I, it was like probably, I think it was in high school, mm-hmm. when you brought that to my attention about if you look at the guards that MJ uh, guarded versus Kobe's, it's yeah. not even close. And I was yeah. like, if you think about it, it's not. And yeah. part, of, part, of, part of the time, uh, Scottie Pimpin guarded a lot of them. That's a fact. They switch, they switch, so. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. So, I, yeah, I, I don't get it, man. And like I said before, I think they really need to think, look into dividing up these lists a little bit more because too many names don't get too many names aren't talked about. You know, there needs to be legacy. And even so, I think they're still going to screw with the legacy thing. But also there needs to be just top 10 most skilled or guys who had the best game. You know still, what I mean? Still, it, it has to be a media driven thing where I guess they didn't like how he, he talked to him or something. Sometimes yeah. that's the only thing I can think of. But it still does. Like if you just watch basketball, there's no way Kobe should be outside of your top five. There's no way. There's there's no way you can look at some of these highlights. I remember posting today. I said there's no way you can look at what this dude's doing and say oh, this is not a top five player. To ever play. I think top three. I think top yeah, three. You he, know, he arguably had one of the best signature shots ever to fade away that nobody yeah. could block. Yeah. I don't think only. I think one person blocked and Kevin Durant blocked it a long time yeah. ago, but that's like the only person to ever block a shot like that. Yeah. And that's on a consistent basis. But yeah. yeah. And there are the arguments overshoots. I don't care. That's not enough of an argument for me. He overshoot, not overshooting got you to five rings, bro. Yeah. I don't care about overshooting. It'd be different if you had no rings and that was the reason you couldn't win. I don't care. Yeah, you know? some 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 people are high volume shooters. This is what it is. This is what it is. And if he's able to yeah, go, yeah. And, and he also knew, and there's another thing too, is I sorry for cutting you off, but Kobe knew how to step back and play within a system. Kobe mastered the triangle. Kobe studied the triangle. You know what I'm saying? Under Tex Winter and, and uh, um, you know, Phil Jackson, he, he, he studied the system and he knew he was a great team player. I've never heard anybody outside of Smush Parker say that Kobe Bryant was a bad teammate. You know what I'm saying? Even he, I, I think it was after Kobe passed, but even he was like, he regretted the relationship. You know, I've never heard anybody criticize Kobe as a teammate unless 
they were on a, a bad a bad Lakers team that just absolutely sucked. Never yeah. heard anybody do it. Even even with him, how he criticized them to try to get them to play better in practice, I still never heard anybody say he's a bad teammate. Isn't that crazy yeah. though? Yeah. That just mean they they kind of know what he's trying to do and they yeah. kind of like. But he only really did that to me at the later end when they really sucked. Yeah. Like he was frustrated with that team when they he had Jordan Hill. Jordan Hill. Yeah, Angelo Russell was a young player. Jordan uh, Carlos Boozer, I think Carlos Boozer was on that team once. Yeah, Maybe. I might be wrong. He was, he was. Was Julius Randle there for a little bit? Julius Randle might have been there for his rookie season, and then they had that one dude. Uh, they had Josh McRoberts there. Wesley oh, Johnson. Oh yeah, don't no, don't start speaking. That's that's a lot of. Oh. They, Jeremy, they're good players. Don't get me wrong. They better yeah. than me, but I'm just saying. Jeremy Lin. Those were horrible. When he wasn't there, those were some of the yeah. worst basketball games Lin, to watch. You talking about? You talking about Lin Sanity? Lin Sanity. <laughs> and they just kept putting him on ESPN when they knew Kobe wasn't going to be there. They just kept putting him on ESPN. Yeah. I know you remember them Kendall Marshall days where he was the starting point guard yeah, for a minute. Man, that's the reason he tore his Achilles and tore his ACL and broke his ro- I mean, and uh, tore his rotator cuff dealing with them. I don't even go yeah. bone. It ain't right. Yeah. But dealing with them players, bro. yeah, man. And then the uh, the Dwight Howard, that he had a rough like Kobe had a rough like back end of they it, just, really rough back end of his yeah, career. They just didn't. I don't. I don't know the problem with him and Dwight. They just didn't mesh. Yeah, because I remember it'd be so many times where Kobe's going to shoot it and then he'd pass it to him and Dwight thought he shot it. Just, yeah. communication was terrible. I remember that it was kind of the same thing with you guys this year with the Lakers. It's kind of like I remember there being a stretch of games where they look good and then they just go and like fuck up they were fun to watch i go a lot they had some fun games to watch and i was i was i love playing with him on 2k i thought mm-hmm. dwight looked dope in the because that was the first like major move i had seen since becoming an nba fan you know what i mean i thought it was a super team i'm thinking kobe steve nash who was just an all-star the year before dwight i'm like oh this is a super team and then they just ended up sucking so uh yeah it is what it I'll is i'll be honest i didn't expect that much out of uh steve nash because he he clearly was getting old and wasn't the same yeah. even though he made an all-star like yeah. let's be honest a lot of dudes yeah. make all star team. Yeah, like it, it ain't like you know. Yeah, it, it, it meant more back then than it does now. I say that's that. True. That's a fact. That's a fact. So uh, NBA, your list sucks. Uh, yeah, this, it just does. This is a reoccurring theme, though. This even before he passed away, they were doing this. Like they kept put, <laughs> they kept putting them at seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, it's something hate. It's clearly hate. It, it's hate, and there's somebody that doesn't like him you know at espn and 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 i think it's going to be the same way like i mean Kyrie is i'm Kyrie isn't the same dude but there are going to be people when Kyrie retires who are never going to acknowledge Kyrie's greatness when he played because of the way he would talk to reporters you know what i mean like there are just some guys like that a lot of these media guys what happens is they get offended by how these athletes respond to them because these athletes don't like hearing stupid questions and then they start creating a bunch of these crazy narratives yeah. about them, you know? They, they will literally ask a question like this, and I'm being dead serious. How do you feel tonight about, uh, let's say, how do you feel tonight about your team's loss? How do you think I feel? You think I'm happy I lost? You think I want like, to tell stupid. you? Or, or they'll ask, I remember them asking Chris, Chris watches last night, them asking Chris Paul, uh, you know, uh, um, do you guys think you can beat him or something like that? Like, I was like, what why you, would you ask them a question like that? You want, you want him to say no? Like, what right. you want him to say? That's exactly like, what he said, too. <laughs> yeah, because it, it really don't make no sense. And I remember they used to ask Russell. Russell went off on him a couple of times. Yeah. Asked Russell some, what'd he say? Yeah. He was like, what? What are you talking yeah. about, man? Well, you we know what he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's, it, it, I think that's what it is because I can't think of anything else because it doesn't make any basketball sense to me. You know what I'm saying at all? Um, and, and unless, like I said, it's just a bunch of old guys back there making the decisions. You know, and but like I said, even you have to acknowledge that the game is just more advanced now. So I think you're going to have to give more of a priority to the guys who are, you know, who did it later on in the NBA's existence and earlier, just because the game just evolved. It's on another level now. You know, there are just a lot of legends who we look at as legends that won't that would be a a, a um a shell of themselves that they play today. This is just a fact. This ain't me being an yeah. asshole. It's real. You know? No, it's, it's definitely real because it's just, I just think they view rings like as too much as a, like as a, what's the thing? Like just, criteria. You know, just criteria, yeah, criteria just to be a great player. Like Charles yeah. Barkley was one of the best players. Probably if you watch his highlights, it's crazy. What he yeah. was doing at 6'4". Yeah. Like he was an undersized big man. He like, was 6'4", wasn't he? He was 6'4", back in like 6'10", dudes down. He, yeah. And he was athletic that can shoot. So yeah. he was he was before his time, being honest, yeah. a big man like that that can shoot. Yeah, so. very true. Very true, man. Shout out, shout out to Kobe. Rest in peace, man. And, and uh, you know, we going to, you know, his legacy still kept alive, but the, these lists are trash. You know what I'm saying? I think they're really, really bad lists. Yeah. Today, yeah. Two, two, today, 224, too. Really? Today, 224? Yeah, I just looked at how about that. That's crazy, man. That's insane. Um, so yeah, uh, NBA list just suck, it sucks, and uh, they're not going to be doing another thing like this probably about 25 years when we hit NBA 100. So, 
Uh, hopefully they get it right by then. Hopefully they get it right by then. I, no, I doubt it. You know, they might put some new players in that top ten. And Steph, I think Steph should be. Let me ask you this though. Yeah, let me ask you this. Who I think would Steph you put in that ten? Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. Like, who would you put in there? That who would you put in there now? Like, who would you with Steph and KD be guys you'd add? I'm putting Steph and KD in there, in my opinion. I have to name. Can you name? Can you name that list again? Or okay, so ten. Let me name the ten here. MJ, tell me. So stop me and tell me who you want to cut off here. MJ. Okay. LeBron, Kareem, Magic, Wilt, Bill Russell, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan. I'm taking I'm taking Bill Russell out. I'm okay. Taking, and you put KD. I'm from KD right there. Okay. And then keep going, keep going with uh you said Larry. Larry, Tim, and Big O, and then Kobe. I was gonna take Tim out, but I'm gonna take Big O out and put Curry. I'm taking yeah, I'm taking Big O yeah, out. But Curry. of course I'm not gonna leave Curry ahead of, you know, yeah. I mean, uh Ahead of Kobe, I'm going to put Kobe. I'm putting Kobe at like my third on that list. Is there anybody else who I think that's about the, uh, the two other guys who I think I'd take, I, I'd add, you know, here maybe. Um, yeah, I think Curry and KD have to be the next two in the top ten.